Hey everyone, ready to dive into Elon Musk's next big move. I mean, this guy's everywhere, right? Electric cars, space rockets, brain chips even. Yeah, it's hard to keep up. Well, that's what we're here for. Today, we're dissecting this podcast script we found called Elon Musk's Next Big Move, Tesla, X, and Beyond. It's got some pretty interesting ideas about what he might be cooking up next. I'm excited to dig in. Me too. Whether you're obsessed with Musk or just curious about the future of tech, this deep dive is going to be a wild ride. Absolutely. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's start with what Musk's already got on his plate. Right, because it's not just about the industries, it's the companies he's actually running. Like, take Tesla and SpaceX. Those are huge, obviously. Right. But then you've got X, which used to be Twitter, aiming to be this everything app like WeChat. Yeah, I've heard about that. Then there's Neuralink, which is literally trying to connect our brains to AI. Whoa. And don't forget XAI, his new artificial intelligence company. They're the ones developing that Grok chatbot. Okay, so he's got his fingers in a lot of pies. Yeah, that's an understatement. It's what makes predicting his next move so tricky, but so interesting. All right, well, let's start with Tesla. The script we're looking at really zooms in on how they're moving beyond just electric cars. Right, they're already leading the packs there. Exactly, but what's next? Well, full self-driving technology is a huge focus for them. They want to reach level five autonomy, which basically means the car can drive itself anywhere, in any conditions, with zero human input. Wow. So you could actually sleep in your car while it drives you across the country. Yeah. Theoretically, if they can pull it off, it would be a total game changer. Not just for Tesla, but for everyone. Think about it. Traffic accidents could become a thing of the past. Okay, now that future sounds amazing and a little terrifying at the same time. I know, right? It's a lot to wrap your head around. It is. But aside from self-driving cars, what else is Tesla working on? Well, there's the Tesla bot, Optimus. It's a humanoid robot designed to work in manufacturing at first. A robot? Like in the factories? Yeah, but its potential goes way beyond that. We could see these bots helping us with all sorts of things like chores around the house or even complex surgeries. Hold on. Robots doing our dishes and performing surgery. This is getting a little too sci-fi for me. I know, right? It makes you wonder, with all this focus on AI and automation, are we headed towards a world where robots are doing most of the jobs? And what does that even mean for us? Those are some big questions. For sure. But before we get lost in the robot future, there's another side of Tesla that often gets overlooked. Their energy division. They're not just building cars, they're building a whole energy ecosystem. Oh yeah, with the solar panels and stuff, right? Exactly. Solar panels, power wall battery systems for homes, and mega packs for large-scale energy storage. They're all connected. So Musk's basically envisioning a future where our homes are powered by Tesla solar panels, storing energy in Tesla power walls, and our cars are charged using that same renewable energy. Yeah, it's like a closed loop cutting out traditional power grids completely. Wow. And when you connect that back to their work on AI and self-driving cars. It's like he's trying to automate our entire energy infrastructure and make it all renewable. It's a pretty radical idea. It is. Okay, so Tesla's clearly up to a lot. Let's shift gears and talk about X the platform formerly known as Twitter. Ah, uh, yes, X. The script talks a lot about Musk's vision to turn it into this super app. Yeah, and I gotta say, that sounds a little crazy to me. I mean, Twitter's always been about short messages and memes, right? Right, but Musk wants to make it way bigger, more like WeChat in China. He wants to integrate everything into X. Banking, AI-powered services, video streaming, payments, even cryptocurrency. Wait, so you're saying I could manage my finances, order groceries, watch movies, and even pay for things? all within the X app. That's the idea. He wants to create a single platform for everything. Okay, I get the appeal of having it all in one place, but isn't that kind of a massive undertaking? And hasn't X been struggling since Musk took over? Yeah, there have been some bumps in the road for sure. Advertisers leaving, concerns about content moderation, all that. Exactly. So can he really pull this off? Well, you got to remember, this is Elon Musk we're talking about. He takes risks, disrupts industries, and defies expectations. True, true. And don't forget about XAI and their Grok chatbot. Oh, right. That's his AI company. Yeah. So X could have a real edge when it comes to integrating AI-powered features. It could change the way we interact online. So while it's a huge challenge, it's not impossible. This could be the start of something really groundbreaking. Exactly. And it's still early days for X. He's only been in charge a short time. It takes a while to transform something this big. I guess so. It's like people were skeptical of Tesla and SpaceX at first, too. And look at them now. Exactly. So you never know with Musk. All right. You've got me convinced. Anything's possible with this guy, even turning a social media platform into an everything app. But let's move on to SpaceX. Their goal is literally to colonize Mars, which sounds like something out of a movie. It's incredibly ambitious, that's for sure, but they're actually working towards it. Their Starship program is designed for deep space travel. It's making incredible progress. So they're serious about this. They're not just messing around. Oh, they're serious. 
Musk has even talked about landing people on the moon as early as 2025. 2025. That's like right around the corner. I know. It's wild. And that moon landing would be a huge step towards their ultimate goal, Mars. Okay, so Starship is for Mars, but what else is SpaceX doing? They're also making big waves with their Starlink satellite internet. They've already launched thousands of satellites, providing internet access to even the most remote corners of the world. Oh yeah, I've heard of Starlink. And it's not just about connecting people, it's also about generating revenue for SpaceX so they can reinvest it back into their bigger projects like colonizing Mars. So Starlink is like a stepping stone to Mars. Exactly. Providing a vital service and funding their ultimate goal all at the same time. It's pretty ingenious. I know, right? It's classic Musk. But all this talk about space travel makes me wonder, could Biontex actually become more influential than NASA in the future? That's an interesting question. SpaceX is definitely shaking things up. They're moving faster and more actually than traditional space agencies. Right, and they're way more focused on Kaha effectiveness, roosting rockets and all that. Exactly. So it's definitely possible that we'll see a future where private companies like SpaceX are leading the way in space exploration. Man, Elon Musk and his companies are operating on a whole other level. No kidding. It's hard to keep up. It really is. But let's talk about something a little closer to home for a minute. Neuralink. This one kind of blows my mind and honestly creeps me out a little. Brain-computer interfaces. Is this even real? Oh, it's real, and it's probably one of the most disruptive technologies Musk is working on. Neuralink is developing brain implants that initially are meant to help people with disabilities. Okay, so someone who's paralyzed could control a computer with their thoughts or a robotic arm. Exactly. Think of the possibilities for people with severe disabilities. That would be life-changing. But you said initially... What's the long-term goal? Well, Musk's ultimate vision for Neuralink is much bigger. He talks about attacking a symbiosis between human brains and AI. Basically merging humans and machines. Merging humans and machines. That sounds both amazing and terrifying at the same time. Right. There are some serious ethical and philosophical questions to think about. Like, what happens to our privacy when machines can access our thoughts? Or could these implants be used to manipulate people? Those are definitely concerns. And what about our sense of self, our individuality? What happens to that when our brains are directly linked to AI? Whoa. It's like, are we even human anymore at that point? Right. It's a big question. Neuralink is definitely a lot to unpack. I think we need to pause here and let all of this sink in. Self-driving cars, robot butlers, space travel, brain implants. It's a lot to process. You're telling me my brain is overloaded. Mine too. And the thing is, Musk's next big move could be something totally unexpected. Oh yeah, he always keeps us guessing. And speaking of guessing... That's what we're going to explore next, this podcast script we've been dissecting. It doesn't just stop at Musk's current ventures, it actually throws out some wild card predictions for what he might do next. I can't wait to hear those. Buckle up, things are about to get even more interesting. Welcome back. Before we jumped into the speculative realm of Elon Musk's next big move, we were talking about Neuralink and some of the profound questions it raises you know, about the nature of humanity in a world where technology is so intertwined with our lives. Yeah, Neuralink definitely wins for the most mind-blowing potential, but I'm ready for a little break from existential bread. I hear you. Maybe we can ground ourselves in reality for a bit before diving into those wildcard predictions. What do you say? Sounds good to me. Let's talk about how Musk's companies are already impacting the world today. Like, what are some concrete examples? Okay, sure. Well, take Tesla's full self-driving technology, for example. Right, they're still working on it, but yeah, it's still in development, but there are thousands of people testing it out on real roads right now. All that data they're collecting, it's feeding Tesla's AI and machine learning algorithms. It's a huge experiment, basically. So even if they don't reach that level five autonomy, the completely driverless cars, right? the advancements they're making are still going to have a huge impact on the whole car industry, right? Oh, absolutely. Tesla is basically crowdsourcing the future of driving with their customers as the testers. It's a pretty bold approach, and it's definitely speeding up the development of these technologies. Who knows? Maybe it really will revolutionize transportation as we know it. It's pretty crazy to think about. But let's not forget about Tesla's impact on the energy sector. Like their Powerwall batteries, those are becoming super popular for people who want to store solar energy or have backup power during outages. Yeah, and their mega packs are being used on a much larger scale too. Like utility companies are using them to help stabilize the power grid and integrate renewable energy sources. So they're not just for individual homes. Right. I actually read an article recently about this town in California that's gone completely off grid. No way. Yeah. They're powered entirely by solar panels and Tesla mega packs. It's like their own little microgrid, totally independent from traditional utility companies. That's wild. It's pretty amazing. It's like a sneak peek into the future of energy where it's all decentralized and renewable and way more resilient. It sounds like something straight out of a utopian sci-fi novel. I know, right? 
But speaking of revolutionizing access, we can't forget about SpaceX's Starlink satellite internet. I mean, it's already providing internet to super remote areas around the world, places where it just wouldn't be possible to build traditional internet infrastructure. Exactly. And it's not just about those remote areas. Think about disaster relief, military operations, scientific research, and really tough environments. Starlink is providing a vital communication lifeline in those situations. It is. I read this really powerful quote from a Ukrainian soldier who said that Starlink has been a game changer during the conflict. Like, it's allowed them to stay in touch with their families, coordinate operations, even get real-time intel from drones. It's pretty amazing to see how this futuristic technology is having such a real impact on the ground. Yeah, it's a powerful example. And it's important to remember that Starlink isn't just some humanitarian effort. It's also a really smart business move for SpaceX. How so? The money they make from Starlink subscriptions, it's going right back into funding their bigger projects like developing Starship and getting to Mars. Ah, so it all comes full circle. Exactly. It's fascinating how Musk has created this whole interconnected ecosystem of innovation where each company is supporting and reinforcing the others. It's like a perpetual motion machine of progress, powered by profits, and a relentless pursuit of these ambitious goals. I know, he's definitely thinking long-term, building a foundation for a future most of us can barely imagine. It really is remarkable. But let's bring it back down to Earth for a minute. We talked about Neuralink earlier and how the initial focus is on helping people with disabilities. Right. I mean, just imagine someone who's paralyzed being able to walk again, or someone who's blind being able to see, all through the power of thought. It would be incredible, a real game changer. It reminds us that even amidst all the hype and speculation, this technology could genuinely change people's lives for the better. Absolutely. But we also have to acknowledge the ethical challenges that come with it. Oh, for sure. We're talking about technology that interacts directly with the human brain, which is kind of the most sacred and mysterious organ in our bodies, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. There are huge questions to consider about privacy, security, and our autonomy. Even what it means to be human in a world where our brains can be linked to machines. Yeah, it's like we're entering uncharted territory, both technologically and ethically. And I think it's important to have these conversations now before it's too late, before these technologies become so commonplace that we don't even question their implications. You're absolutely right. We need to be thinking ahead, shaping the ethical frameworks that will guide the development and use of these powerful technologies. We can't just passively let the future happen to us. You know, we have to be active participants in shaping it, creating a future that aligns with our values and aspirations. Well said. Okay, so I think we've earned a little speculative fun now. I agree. Are you ready to dive into those wild card predictions for Musk's next big move? Let's do it. Let's see what Elon Musk's imagination has in store of us. Okay, so we've talked about Tesla's self-driving cars and their energy solutions, SpaceX's crazy plans for biggest travel, and Starlink's global internet ambitions. We even went deep on Neuralink and the whole ethical can of worms that comes with it. We covered a lot of ground. We did, but now it's time for the really fun part. The wild card predictions. Exactly. Time to explore what Elon Musk might do next. Well, as we've already seen, with Musk, the possibilities are pretty much endless. He's constantly pushing the boundaries and going after ideas that most people would think are impossible. Yeah, he's not afraid to challenge the status quo, that's for sure. Not at all. So the podcast scripts we've been looking at, it throws out some pretty wild predictions, some more realistic than others. Definitely. But they're all super interesting to think about. Where should we start? Well, one prediction that's been floating around for a while now is this idea of a Tesla-branded smartphone. A Tesla phone? Hmm, interesting. But what would even make a Tesla phone different from all the other smartphones out there? Well, imagine a phone that seamlessly integrates with your entire Tesla ecosystem. So your car, your power wall, solar panels, even your Starlink internet connection. Okay, so everything's connected. Right. It could have crazy good connectivity, advanced AI features, maybe powered by Grok even, and a focus on privacy and data security that actually rivals companies like Apple and Google. Okay, I see the appeal, especially for the diehard Tesla fans, the ones who are all in on that whole lifestyle. But isn't the smartphone market, like, super saturated already? It is, yeah. So how would a Tesla phone even compete with the giants like Apple and Samsung? It would be a huge challenge, that's for sure. But Musk has a history of disrupting industries that seem impossible to break into. That's true. He's not afraid to go up against the biggest players and do something completely different. Exactly. All right, you know what? A phone that connects seamlessly with my Tesla and gives me Starlink internet wherever I go that's actually pretty tempting. Right. Okay, I'm on board with the Tesla phone idea. What else is there? Another prediction that I thought was interesting is this idea of an AI-powered education revolution led by Mutt and XAI. 
Now that's something I can get behind. I am all for using technology to make education more engaging and personalized, you know, more accessible too. Me too. So how could XAI and Grok change the way we learn? Well, think about it. What if every student had access to a personalized AI tutor? available 24 7 that adapts to their specific learning style their pace their interests okay i like where you're going with this grope has this massive knowledge base and with its natural language processing capabilities it could provide explanations answer any question in real time and even create custom learning plans for every student it'd be like having your own personal socrates guiding you through the world of knowledge? Exactly. But wouldn't that create a bigger digital divide between those who have access to this kind of tech and those who don't? Yeah, that's a really important point. It would be crucial to make this technology accessible to everyone, regardless of their background or income level. Right. If it's done right, it could actually level the playing field and give everyone the opportunity to learn and grow. Absolutely. Okay, you've got me dreaming of a future where every child has a chance to reach their full potential with the help of AI. All right. what other wildcard predictions are we looking at? Well, the script also suggests that Musk might make a major investment in quantum computing. Quantum computing. Now, that's a topic that always makes my head spin. It's so complex, but it also has the potential to revolutionize pretty much everything. Medicine, materials, science, and of course, AI. Right. It could solve problems that are just impossible for even the most powerful computers today. Okay, so break this down for me. What exactly is quantum computing? Well, basically, quantum computers use the principles of quantum mechanics to make calculations in a totally different way than traditional computers. So it's not just about faster processing speeds. No, it's a whole different ball game. Okay, I'm starting to get it. And this could lead to some incredibly breakthroughs. Think about like discovering new drugs, developing new materials, or pushing AI to levels we can't even imagine right now. So if Musk put his money into quantum computing, it could really accelerate all of his other ventures, right? Exactly. It'd be like pouring rocket fuel on all of his companies, from Tesla to XAI, a force multiplier for innovation, if you will. I like it. So we've got a Tesla phone, an AI education revolution, and a quantum computing leap forward. Am I sensing a pattern here? Disruption, innovation, always looking ahead to the future. You're definitely picking up on something. Okay, any other wild cards up your sleeve? All right, well, this last one is a little more out there and maybe a bit controversial. The script suggests that Musk might make a move into politics. Elon Musk, the politician. Now, that's a wild card. I mean, he's definitely not afraid to speak his mind, especially when it comes to things like government bureaucracy. So I could see him wanting to shake things up in the political arena. Oh, absolutely. He's already super vocal about climate change, space exploration, AI, and he's not afraid to challenge the status quo. But would he actually run for office? Or would he be more likely to support candidates and causes that align with his vision of the future? It's hard to say. Only time will tell what his political ambitions are. But one thing's for sure. If he decides to jump into politics, it'll be a big deal. No doubt about it. Well, I think it's safe to say that no matter what Elon Musk does next, it's going to be interesting. He's a total force of nature, a disruptor, an innovator, a visionary. He really is in a league of his own. And you know what? Whether you agree with him or not, you can't deny the impact he's having on the world. Absolutely. He makes us think differently about the future, imagine possibilities that we never thought possible. He's pushing us forward. And that's what makes this whole conversation so fascinating. We're not just talking about technology here. We're talking about the future of humanity, the choices we make, the world we're building for ourselves and for future generations. It's a lot to think about. It really is. And as we break up this deep dive into the world of Elon Musk, let's remember that the future isn't set in stone. It's something we're creating right now through the ideas we embrace, the technologies we develop, and the decisions we make. So who knows? Maybe one of you listening out there will be the next Elon Musk, challenging the status quo and pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Keep asking questions, stay curious, and never stop exploring the possibilities. The future is out there waiting to be shaped, and it's up to all of us to make it a future worth living in. Well said. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive, everyone. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep pushing the limits of what's possible.